What's up, beautiful peoples, man? Welcome back to The Fragrance Show. I'm your humble host, Jerome Smith. And today we're gonna to be talking to fragrance from the house of Rihanna. Now, I have one other fragrance from the house of Rihanna. Oh, excuse me. And that one is called Saba Waba. Ooh, really like that joint. Um, really like that joint. So this is gonna be my second fragrance from them. This actually came by way of a recommendation from somebody that checked out the channel. I forgot your name, but if you're tuning into this video, I appreciate you. So this one is called Musky Ooh by Rihanna, guys. This one right here. I picked my bottle up off of eBay. I will definitely link that down in the description. So we're gonna talk about this one. It's gonna be a first impression. What do it smell like? When it went to where? Um, you know, things of that nature, man. We about to get busy, all right? Stay tuned. Thanks for tapping back in, man. New subscribers, peace to y'all. My return subscribers, peace to y'all as well. Shouts out to everybody that been checking out the channel, man. Um, really do appreciate you guys. So today we're talking musky ooh by Rihanna, guys. I do not have the box. I actually had this one in my collection for a little bit. Wanted to get some content up on the channel just in case you're thinking about buying a fragrance from the house of Rihanna. Like I said, I only have one other fragrance from them and that's called Saba Wabba Ooh. And that one is really nice. It definitely reminds me of Shade Off Ooh by, um, I believe by Swiss Arabian. Um, so this one, you have a nice bottle right here. Um, down here, this is glass, got a tassel around the thing. And I will say the Saba Waba Ooh bottle comes with like some beads you can take off. So the presentation on a bottles, you know, to start out is definitely kind of dope. Um, and the cap comes off and let's get some spray. Spray is pretty nice. Now I will say, this as a first impression of this fragrance. When you spray this, it's definitely going to smell like what's on the market already and it definitely does remind me of Saba Waba Ooh. I don't know if this is a flinker to that uh but the one I already have in my collection from Rihanna but this one is definitely going to smell familiar it has like the Middle Eastern DNA a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances you already know to start out up top they use saffron rose and saffron it's like peanut butter and jelly in the Middle Eastern fragrance uh things that go together you know what i'm saying this one definitely starts out with that but for the most part it's a nice fragrance so i will say that um well, this this to me will be for somebody that's just like really getting into collecting middle eastern fragrances and they don't have many and you want something that smells nice it's cheap it's only 25 dollars. you know most middle eastern fragrances definitely are cheap but if you you know like i said you just starting out and you're not really familiar with the dna of middle eastern fragrances and you're not really familiar with like saffron and stuff like that this is going to be nice to start out with i will say that the scent is very nice it opens up with like this kind of raspberry accord with saffron um and then like to me it has like some leather uh nuances to it with some wood so uh for my folks that have a bunch of middle eastern fragrances in the collection this one is going to smell redundant to you i will say that but it doesn't take away from the fact that it is nice you know what i'm saying i definitely will have the compliment factor there to me this is definitely a unisex fragrance i think a female definitely can pull this off um just but just a little redundant but it's nice it's nice i will say that you know just as like a little note breakdown like i said opens up with like a fruitiness from a raspberry saffron mixture when that starts to fade you want to get like some little le leathery kind of underlining tones going on some leather some woods i don't think it's really much oud in this one if it is it's this is like in the background it's not animalic or nothing like that but you know something you will be like yo I, I smelled that kind of dna before but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's nice and it's also cheap like 20 25 dollars so you know but musky ooh guys by rihanna now seasons for this you're definitely going to want to go fall and winter you don't want to be wearing this in the spring unless it's a spring night shoot your shot but summertime nah i don't do that it's just it's just too much going on with it the notes in it definitely made for cooler weather attire with this one I see a tire being like, man, like more casual first than, than formal, you know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. Uh, I wouldn't 
throw this on at first with the suit and tie. Uh, more so sweater, maybe collar shirt, jeans, pair of nice shoes or something like that. But I think this does have the compliment factor. So if somebody smells you with this on and they're not used to smelling Middle Eastern fragrances, uh, you know, they, you're definitely going to smell nice. Um, like I said, it's just kind of redundant to me. Um, so it's not warranted to purchase for the person that has a big Middle Eastern fragrance collection. This would be definitely for somebody um, just starting out. Um, let me see, what else can I get y'all with this one? Uh, so I did say seasons, you know, to me, this is fall and winter attire, casual first. And if you want to go formal at time of day with this one, I would say this can be worn at any time of day. I does think it has like the alluring factor to draw people in if they get a whiff of you. Uh, so that definitely be suited for nighttime and daytime. If I think if you're if you're out, you know, what I'm saying, um, you know, you got, you got some daytime events to hit or something like that, things of that nature. I think you can pull this one in the daytime too. $25 off of eBay, guys. I'm gonna link that down in the description. This is Musky Ubariana. I don't know how many releases they have in that house, but this is only just my second pickup. So if you guys have this one, Musky Ooh, please let me know down in the comments what you think about it. If you have Saba Waba Ooh from them, um, I actually came across that fragrance from watching another channel, Bowtie Fragrance Guy. He recommended that one. Uh, that one is nice too. Like I said, that one reminds me of uh, a fragrance from uh, Swiss Arabia, Shea Ooh, and we all know what Shea Shea Ooh is, you know, the OJ for sure. So. But this one not bad. I might get this one a couple sprays. Be back with like a full review for you guys. And I will say, just off the sprays, I did spray it. It definitely has room filling capability. So I think the performance on this one will be good. But I'm gonna wear this one uh, before definitely before we really close out fall and be back with you know some definitely you know performance numbers for you guys. But I will say, a couple sprays, three sprays. I I did hit up my living room as good um seems like it's gonna have some good performance to it so musky ooh 25 dollars off of ebay all right guys so thanks for tapping back in with you guys if you need more content man click on that video header up on the screen don't forget to like share subscribe button if you took time from this video that link will be up there and i catch you guys in the next video all right peace salute